Silver Turbo Kit. This is the 2019 kit on a 2018 Summit X. We have the race uh, race can exhaust on it, so it's the louder version. It's not so big, saves a little bit of weight. I haven't seen any videos on here of people posting reviews, just uh, climbing and whatnot. So as you can see, I'm a big guy. I bought the turbo as a power adder to help me out, keep up with my buddies that are skinnier, just ride a little better. So if you're a big guy and you want a turbo, this is what you want. Um, I went with a silver because you just remap it, pull the string and go. If you want to come in here a little closer. I've only rode this, are you still videoing? I did. So I'll edit this little spot out right now. All right, come in a little closer. So with this kit, you have your wastegate right here. I keep my stuff in a goggle bag. Well, there's a broken piece of my sled because I run out of talent a lot. Can you see me in there? If not, you need to back up a little bit. I'll edit it. So in this little goggle bag from Silver. <laughs> it's okay, I can edit it. You going again? Yep. Yeah. So in this little goggle bag, I keep... There's my 7-pound spring. You got your spanner wrench. This is a 3-pound spring. Uh, to do 10 pounds, you put the three pound and seven pound together, you get 10 pounds. And then I'm running a five pound. I run one gallon race gas to the rest premium right now on five pounds. We're at 9,000 feet altitude. In order to change a boost on this snowmobile, it's really easy. All you do is undo this cap with your spanner wrench, take your uh, wastegate cap off, change the spring, throw it back on, Give it a minute, I just ride around for a second, do a couple short little pulls so the computer shows that I change boost levels, and then I'm good for the day. The most I've ran this sled on is seven pounds. I've never taken it to 10 pounds because with me being a bigger guy on seven pounds, uh, my intake air temperature gets so high, it pre-detonates. So keep that in mind if you're a bigger guy. The little guys, they can run 10 pounds and they're not pulling as much weight up the hills. Um, the problems I've had with this sled, as you can see, it's not wrapped right now. I need to get some exhaust wrap for it. That's on my to-do list. So if you don't exhaust wrap the turbos, as you can see, this one has, oh shit, I don't, probably got 800 miles on this turbo. I think seven, 700 miles or so this year so far on it. It was beautiful. It changed colors. But as you can see, now that we're getting into being full used with it, it's hot. Um, it's starting to turn this gold color. I've seen online that them guys, to prevent them, which I wish I would have seen before I started riding with this turbo kit, they spray them with WD-40, and then when they get hot, they turn like a full bronze color. But I didn't do that, cause, but it's full stainless. The WD-40 reacts and turns bronze. So, in all reality, I've melted this piece on here, so you need to, you need to wrap tape on this. That, This is a yellow push pin fitting. You can see how it's all melted. That has melted off. And then I'll have to take the sled apart. I'll make another video. But on the install, you can see I have pieces of plastic down there on the charge tube. On the install video, it says to leave all this stuff. Just throw it on there, pull the rope, and go after you send uh, the ECU off and get it done. When I put this kit on, it started melting the plastic. So I had to trim this out. To prevent it if you heat wrap it you use the exhaust wrap then you don't have to trim that but this piece this piece will sit down on this exhaust pipe and it will melt just forewarning you so I trim mine out 
I'm going to get exhaust wrapped this summer when I start, when I tear the sled back apart. Um, and coming off the top of the head, there's a straight piece. And your coolant line, this one, comes off that straight piece and it, it curves over and it comes over and down and around your turbo. The uh, charge tube temp or pipe that goes over to your airbox sits on top of that hose and it kinks it. And I've already popped that once. So what you need to do is you need to pull your charge tube over and put a piece of rubber on your charge tube and then zip tie it over to the frame. Otherwise that charge tube will sit there and beat on that little piece of hose and it'll bend it and it'll break. And then you'll be up on the mountain and you'll blow all your coolant out. I've already had it happen once. Got a piece of the side panel. I have the SLP vent kits on my side panels. As you can see, I run out of talent a lot and I break my side panels. I broke my clip off. Um, we'll be doing an install video of that soon enough. On, I drilled out holes with the uh, hole saw. Just to, I didn't want to cut it all the way out like the directions say, but I would fully recommend wrapping this exhaust with exhaust wrap from like O'Reilly or wherever the case may be, because when you're a bigger guy, remember I never ran this sled over more than seven pounds of boost. You're seeing a lot of heat and the way this plastic is, when you're side hilling or carving and putting that pressure against this panel, it'll start melting the, the side panel. So you need to exhaust wrap these turbo kits. Problem, so those are the two problems I've had with this kit since I bought it. Problem number three is uh, the original air box the, I had them on too tight and it oblonged and egg shaped the air box where it goes in to the pipe for uh, the throttle bodies. Once your throttle bodies start popping out, you're done. You need to get a new air box. Um, make sure you change that. Since I've got the new updated, updated air box for this sled, I have put, I have not turned a wrench on it. I just run it. I, I usually run at seven pounds, but today visibility is low. Can't really see too much, so I turn it down. I didn't put very much raised gas in it today. You can run av gas if you would like, but I just run, I run the 110, just to be safe. I don't like to lose O2 sensors with av gas. I did that on my M1000. If you go back in my videos, I had an M1000 with a raised gas turbo I ran av gas in. Other than that, this thing runs flawless. It does not have the throttle response a stock sled has until you get into boost. Once you're in boost, it's it's right there. But from that, whatever it is, 1200 RPM to 3000, it's not boggy like an old sled. It's it'll sit there and snap, but it's not it's not stock responsive. I did put the 2019 Billet Helix in and everything's weighted correctly, but it's not its not snappy like a stock sled off the line. So if we line these two sleds up and just smack the throttle, both of us, that one's gonna wheelie up and come off the line. This one will not. This one will roll forward, I don't know, what, 30, about 30 feet, maybe not that much, maybe 20 feet, and then it'll just come to life, stand up, and then just run around them. But as far as the bottom end goes, when you're at an idle to a clutch engagement, it's not snappy. It's, it's, uh, I could, I put it up against like an old XM bottom end. It doesn't have that 850 bottom end. Um, other than that, that's about it with the, the silver turbo kit. I do like the sound of the race gas can. I'll throw a couple clips in. Um, other than that, I did break the studs holding the can in and it has slid back and melted my plastics in the bottom so you got to be aware of that but number one thing is to wrap the thing and move all right guys i got the camera now <laughs> i just want to show you the welds though and the fit and finish of this uh kit if you want to watch an install video there's install videos online but the fit and finish of this kit is just it's the welds are just beautiful you know I've got some rust on these bolts it's not a big deal you know these are rusting out whoops I gotta look at the camera not my finger <laughs> the biggest thing if silver if you're watching this put a 90 degree angle on that kit on that hose 
For the love of God, this is ridiculous. That should have a 90 on it, so it's like this, I'm not pushing out. Because that is getting so hot and the stress on that. When my side panel gets pushed in, when I'm side hilling or hitting rocks, whatever the case may be, please do something about that, Silver. I know you're going to watch this, Justin Silver. The race can sounds amazing. The fit and finish is wonderful. Biggest thing I don't like about the kit is the mounting back here. I wish we had a bolt back here to hold the damn thing in place. And in the front, down there. My hand was in the way. This one right there. I wish we had something better to mount it to because as you can see, it has kicked back and it's melted my whole side panel down here on my tub because it keeps popping off these little pedestals. And I don't know how to prevent that from happening because you don't, the only bolt there is is the stock exhaust bolt right there. Clear up, come on. Get it to clear up. That's the only part of the kit that bolts in when you're holding it in. I wish we had a bolt down here. I'm gonna probably make something to bolt it down here. Other than that, awesome kit, fully recommend it. And that's about it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you got a silver kit on your 850, tell me what you've done. Um, I've heard Sledhead Racing has a better clutch kit that will bring that bottom end back. I have not got it yet. Maybe, hint, hint, he'll send me one and I'll uh, review that as well. But that's my full review on the silver Kirk turbo kit. Wonderful sled. Can't beat this. I don't care who you are. If it can pack a 300 pound man up these chutes and up these hills, then you guys that are little guys, you guys are going to love this thing. This thing's going to pull like a freight train. Sorry for the win. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a wonderful day.